Good evening everyone and welcome to my kitchen. Tonight we're going to be making something that I've been hungry for for a very long time and we're going to be making it entirely from scratch so it should be very delicious and we'll be using real butter and other real ingredients. We're going to be making something out of this tried and true cookbook which has been around for many generations inspiring many good cooks. And what we're going to make tonight is called a pineapple upside down cake. There's actually a picture of it in the book. And it just looks so yummy that I decided that we had to make one as well. So the first thing that we're going to do, and this is the pan we're going to be using. This is a, a deep dish clay pie pan. And although it recommends a nine and a half inch round baking pan. This is a little bigger than that, but I think that it'll be just fine. And this pan actually came from the Pottery Works at Clay City, Indiana. And it's very nice to bake in clay like this because it bakes very evenly and it holds the heat very well. So baking in clay, you're not going to get a hot spot the way you might if you baked in aluminum. So. It's called pineapple upside down cake because the topping of the cake is actually the bottom of the pan. And when it's baked, you dump it upside down. So we'll begin by putting two tablespoons of butter. And this is real butter. And my philosophy is if you're going to take the time to bake something from scratch, then use the best available ingredients. So we're going to use real butter here. Okay, and that's two tablespoons. We have one third cup of brown sugar. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this to the microwave and we're going to melt this and stir it together and then we'll lay our pineapple and our maraschino cherries in it. So that will create the topping of the cake. If I was using an aluminum pan, I could put it on the stove top. But since I'm using ceramic, I'll microwave it. Okay, so I microwaved my margarine, or my butter. I microwaved my butter and my brown sugar at 20 second intervals until the butter was melted. And now I just want to stir this around real good so that it gets nicely mixed together. Butter and brown sugar makes a very nice combination for any kind of a melted topping. Okay, that looks like it's melted together pretty good. Now, I'm using a plastic spoon, and I recommend any time you use pottery that you use a plastic or a wooden spoon. Okay, so what I want to do is distribute this as evenly as I can, and then, just as the picture shows, I'm going to lay my pineapple and cherry slices on top. Okay, so this could take a minute to get it nice and evenly distributed. I imagine that when it bakes it'll melt and sort of self-distribute anyway. Okay. All right, so I need pineapple slices. Okay, I'm not exactly sure how many I will be able to fit. So we'll just start to lay them around. Oh, I can hardly wait. This is going to be so good. And it's so pretty, too, when it dumps out. It's just festive, and even if you're not a big fan of pineapple, and I'm not a big fan of pineapple, this is good because it's got that brown sugar butter topping 
that just makes it really delicious. All right. I thought they went in as whole rings, but the picture shows them cut in half. And actually, you can probably fit more in when they're cut in half. <coughs> see. Perfect. There you go. We came out even. Isn't that neat? Okay. Doesn't show anything in the center. So I guess we'll leave the center undone. I'm going to have to have the cameraman open the cherries for me. <laughs> I want to see if I can do this on camera. I probably can't. Nope. Don't think so. Back in a moment. All right. The cherries are now open. So we can continue with the preparation of our pineapple upside down cake. Okay. And I had thought that we would use whole cherries, but the recipe says to use halves. And I guess I'll put them cut side up so that when I dump the cake out, they will be rounded side up. Very pretty, very festive. Who could not like maraschino cherries? I mean, they're red and they're tasty. Not sure how they make them red. Maybe they come that way. And now my fingers are too big to get any more out. Come out. All right. And I'm thinking that I just can't leave that center plain. So, We'll make a little design in the center with the hope that when we pour the cake batter in, they won't move. So, that's going to be the topping of the cake. Isn't that cool? Alrighty. Now, a good cook always cleans up after their mess, so we'll take just a quick break to get things cleaned up because the next thing we're going to make is the cake batter from scratch. On the opposite page of the upside down cake, it gives you the ingredients for the cake that you pour in here, the batter. It's called Busy Day Cake and we've combined all the ingredients here and we're ready to mix it up. And it was very, very simple and it was one and one-third cups of all-purpose flour two-thirds cups of sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, two-thirds cup milk, one quarter cup butter softened, one egg, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Those are all things that you probably have in your kitchen already. So we're going to take this over to the mixer and we're going to mix it up and then we'll pour it over the batter and pop it right in the oven. And I guess it might be time to preheat the oven as well. Let's go mix it up. All right, so here's our batter of busy day cake um, all mixed up and we're just going to give it a little stir to make sure that there isn't any thing that didn't get mixed so now the tricky part is putting this batter on top of this cake Here. no I have it I have it it's good thanks
Looks like we're getting it nice and even. This is going to be so good. All right. As you can see, we've got the bowl scraped pretty clean. I was just really guessing on the size of this pan because it calls for a cake pan and this is a pie pan but this is a really deep pie pan it's also a little bigger than the recommended cake pan so that just means maybe our cake won't be quite as thick so we're just about ready to put it in the oven man I hope you washed your hands I did I don't want to be in paint batter okay looks good yes Looks good to me. ever smell good. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it sure is. Mm. So, we will let it cool on a cooling rack for five minutes and then we will invert it on a pizza pan that's been covered with parchment. And so for the next five minutes I believe that I'll have some aromatherapy here Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. And you can see where the brown sugar has bubbled a little bit around the edges. Oh, it looks delicious. Okay. We're taking a thin metal spatula and we're loosening it around the edges. Okay. Are we ready for the grand turnover? I guess we are. Every part of this has gone well so far. So we'll see if it actually comes out of there or if it sticks. We had to wait about five minutes to let it cool for the instructions in the cookbook. Now we'll see what happens here. And this is where the name, in case you still happen to be wondering, upside down cake comes from because now those pineapples and cherries which were initially on the bottom, are now going to be on the top when my mother lifts the uh, clay pot up. The so clay we've pan. a pizza pan <laughs> with parchment paper. I'm not really sure how to get a grip on this. Let me do it, honey. I want to do it. Furhead to the rescue, almost. He got shut down. <laughs> Alright, I see it in there. Oh, yeah. It appears to be very, very hot. Yeah, that's why I have a glove. <laughs> oh, look at that, though. I'd say that came out real well, and those cherries you were worried about shifting around, they didn't hardly move at all. Da, 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 da! <laughs> that's pretty awesome. We'll have to have a little uh, taste test later, but it's, it's going to have to cool, that's for sure. Pineapple upside down cake. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I get a close-up look at the texture there. Came out clean. There's residue in the pan. Yeah, but not very much. Now, because this is pottery, you have to let it naturally cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want to try to accelerate it with cold water. If you put water in it, you'd crack it. So. All right. Well, we'll let this thing cool down, and then we'll be uh, tasting it later. Oh my gosh! My mother could not wait to taste the fruits of her labor, so she's chowing down on this right now. How is it? Mmm, it's so good. Mm. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you for watching, and feel free to leave a comment if you have one.
I supposed to say something? It is recording. Okay, well, can we start over? Sure.